This video is about setting options. Options is found in the settings menu, or you can click on the options icon in the general toolbar. The options dialog box lets you set your choice of how the software will perform for various functions. There are seven different tabs that can be selected for setting options. We will look at the general tab and the scrolling tab in this video. The other tabs will be covered in later videos. In the general tab, you can change how often the software will auto save the design. The default setting is 10 minutes. You can also show tool names or show large icons. It is a good idea for new users to activate show tool names because it will help you learn the icons. When a digitizing tool is selected, the pointer position will display in the status bar at the bottom of your design screen. You have two choices in these options, relative and absolute. Relative means the position is referenced from the last digitized point, while absolute means the position is referenced from the first needle point of the design. And this is when you are using a digitizing tool. If I'm digitizing, notice how the position changes in the status bar. You have the choice of three different programs to touch up any artwork that you bring into the software. Paint is selected by default. You can also elect to use Corel Photo Paint, which was added as part of the Corel installation. PaintShop Pro is a third option, but will only be highlighted if you have purchased the program and installed it on your computer. You can choose to start the software in the home screen, the embroidery canvas, or the embroidery library. The default is the home screen. We'll talk about these other options in later videos. Now let's look at the scroll tab. Auto scrolling is enabled by default. This will cause the screen to move to another location when your mouse approaches one of the corners of the screen. It is a good idea to have this activated when you are digitizing designs. If you are a new user, then you may wish to uncheck this option. You can also change how the pointer will react. You may also change the mouse wheel behavior. It can zoom or it can scroll vertically or horizontally based on how your options are set. What you're looking at are the default options. To make your changes, just click OK. Options will remain from design to design unless you go back into the dialog box and change them or unless you revert the software to default settings. To see how auto scroll works, if I have a digitizing tool selected, and then click on the screen, you see how the screen moves as I move my mouse. If you hold down the Alt key while you have Auto Scroll selected, it lets you move to a toolbar and you can click on Options and then disable Auto Scrolling and click OK. Now when the mouse moves, the screen will not bounce to a new location.